Tennis has been a passion of mine for a long time, but purely by accident did I become a tennis employed person, I guess you might say, and doing television and radio. Federer got emotional, different sorts of tears tonight. Yes, because he was the victor then, but we found out that the rain, R-E-I-G-N, from Spain has fallen on this concrete plain right here in Melbourne. Ed Costello at the Herald assigned me when I was a copy boy. I was working part-time while I went to BU. And I found out that nobody else on the staff wanted to cover tennis. It was very unpopular with my colleagues. So he said, well, you go out to Longwood Cricket Club and, and cover an event called the Massachusetts Women's Championships. He said, now don't question me. You're new on this and you just have to do what I tell you to do. But I was secretly thrilled. So we're right into a third set and we don't know what's going to happen. I think we're going to see Margaret trying a lot more lobs against Rosie. Well, Margaret Court going for that grand slam. We're going to show you the tape now going into the third set. Tennis shots, tennis shots. One shot I really remember is 1984 at the U.S. Open. Ivan Lendl is playing against Pat Cash. And uh, Lendl was facing match point. Just under three and a half hours, these two have been going at one another. And Cash, who was a great volleyer, came to the net, angled a volley off to Lendl's right. And Lendl just ran, 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 and lifted a topspin lob over Cash's head, landing on the far baseline. He saved the match point, and he won the match. People ask me who the most influential people were in tennis. I always think of Billie Jean King, because not just a great influence in women's tennis, but in tennis as a whole, and sport as a whole. She's a pretty peppery person, and she, she realizes these responsibilities, and she goes at it full force. Arthur Ashe was a great influence in many ways, because he was interested in education as well as tennis. Arthur had been trying to go to South Africa, and he was outspoken on the subject of apartheid. People were so grateful to see Arthur, to see a world-class athlete. Arthur had a great effect on getting black kids into the game, and I think the Williams sisters, who are now on top of the game, were encouraged by his success. If you've been around tennis for any length of time, you can see that it's not the same game that people are playing now. I mean, the, the scoring is the same, the court is the same size, but technology has taken over. There was more variety to the game when we had the wooden racket. Uh, you won't see a player today with the genius of John McEnroy. He shows the variety that we don't get from many other players, but I wonder what kind of a player would, would he be as attractive with the high-tech racket? I don't know. I enjoy the game and I want to see what comes next. This year was Kim Kleister's. Played seven matches before the U.S. Open and won it unseated. And brings her baby out to the court to show everybody. I, that was a, a joyful time. And so that's what keeps me coming back for the good stories. <laughs>